tuning in, it's the one and only Octopotamus coming to you with another video review. And on today's episode, thanks to the absolute incredible support of my patrons, Octopotamus Plus channel members, and even those of you that just hit that thumbs up button, we're going to be taking a look at the new Transformers Kingdom Deluxe Class Air Razor. Definitely one of the new Kingdom figures that I was looking forward to. For the package, much like all of them, you got this absolutely gorgeous art image here with Air Razor in her uh, robot and her uh, Falcon mode that wraps from the side to the front. I, I love the way that they're doing that. So, so wicked cool. You got a fairly small window, which uh, showcases her from about the waist up to kind of facilitate all that package art. I, I mean, one's almost disappointed having to rip some of these apart because the art on here does look really very good. Of course, you got the Transformers text, the generation logo, all that come around to the back, uh, while the side also does have that gorgeous art of the Kingdom uh, figures, and of course you got the golden disc right there, a lot of real cool figures and characters right there, come around to the back, and here you see an image of her in her robot, as well as, like I said, her Falcon mode. But uh, for the packaging on this girl, that is about it. So without further ado, let's get her out here and see how cool she actually is. All right, guys, so here we have Air Razor open up out of her packaging and obviously in her Falcon mode. And starting off first, much like all of these Kingdom figures, she does come with a collector card. Hers came with the Ark. Now, my understanding is that there are different variants of the same kind of card. I don't remember which figure this came with, but as you can see, it says Autobot Ark, first of all, on it. So they uh, changed that up a little bit and then... When you would look at this one, you could see it was crashed onto Earth. And then you, you have this. It says 1984 right there. This uh, inside of this one, though, as you can see, is it crashing down to Earth. So it hasn't crashed into uh, that uh, volcano just yet. And then you got a different writing on there. So that's cool. And what's also also kind of interesting, um, it's got a Decepticon logo there. Is that, why is that got a Decepticon? That's got a Decepticon logo on the Ark. That's really weird. Um, don't know what that's about. So um, who knows what uh, is going on with things. But uh, there you have the collector card. And then for Eraser herself, the, I, I really do like this one. Yeah, there's a, another instant here where there's a lot of kind of like robot stuff hanging out. Now, what's cool, though, is you can actually, as you can see, bring her wings around to kind of make her look like she's perched or sitting there. I absolutely love that. You can even uh, bring these back a little bit more. And if you really wanted to get her to perch up and... uh sit a little bit taller matter of personal preference but i love the fact that you can do that because a lot of flying sort of uh, toys it, it, they only really look good when you're having them fly but i love the fact that they put that in there where you can have her kind of sitting you can also take these like i said and kind of bring these all the way back and then uh, straighten out her head bring these wings out and now you can have her flying around and uh, again really very very nice but this is where you can see uh, some robot bits you can see her legs clearly folded up there her arms and everything and the bottom section is kind of a lot of exposed bits uh, top from the top looks a whole lot better uh, but I mean well yeah it it, 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 it does kind of stick out I don't think it's really all that bad. Um, I'm a little bit more forgiving of it I think but I, I absolutely love it the texture here all the individual feathers here have a real nice amount of detail sculpted into it. Good paint variation with it. You can see lighter grays, darker grays. You got some brown elements right in there. But I'm really just in general very impressed with uh, the way that those wings turned out. Really very happy with it. A lot of nice textural detail throughout the entire thing. Like even when you look at the feet, you can kind of see those uh, bird-like ridges on their feet and everything. You got claws and all that fun stuff. Great detail with the head, uh, real nice paint on there. You've got the different color grays as well. Uh, I I even love the fact that they articulated her jaw. Um, it's a little bit harder to get to, you can see, but it's open right now, and then you can even close that up. I didn't expect that. I think that's really cool. But you can see the wings are very nicely articulated. You've got a couple different hinges, so you can really get some really good uh, flapping poses. As you can see, you can wrap things around 
to uh, make her look a little bit more like a uh, perched bird or uh, a bird that's just kind of sitting there or whatever the case may be. You can rotate her head uh, left and right. It, it doesn't go side to side like that. It just spins, which is fine for me, but it can also hinge up and down. So again, you can take something like that and create a, a, a seating look for which it is great. Uh, I, again, I mean, I love the fact that you can do that with her because now it doesn't force you to make her like have to try to fly. You, you, you don't have to get a uh, pose like that, which is almost impossible to do. But getting her there uh, for some comparisons, here is the core class rat trap. So you can see how big she is. Let's um, in perch him on the back and have him, uh, well, not really, uh, maybe you can do something. Yeah, you can kind of do that. Have him fly around uh, on her back. Let's see, we have uh, Cheetor, of course, bringing in all the Maximals. Again, good size, I think. Here is Primal. Uh, obviously, a bird is gonna be smaller but she was a bigger bird in the show, so it wasn't really real world scaled. Uh, I mean, she would probably be a little bit bigger than Rat Trap, but I, I feel like she's a lot bigger. I mean, especially when you're looking at her with like primal and stuff. And then uh, because we seem to be getting, oh, we're getting some really uh, strong women characters. Uh, I mean, it was International Women's Day the other day, so yeah, that's pretty cool. So. Here is Black Arachnia, who you know, eventually becomes a Maximal and all that fun stuff. So a lot of real uh, strong female characters. Unfortunately, we all know, well, if you don't know, you should go back and watch Beast Wars. But Air Razor has a very strong connection to Tigatron. And eventually, those two become fused together to create the character of Tigerhawk, which is a terrific character in and of itself, but it's cool to get the uh, individual ones. We're, we're going to be obviously getting her, as you can see, and then we're going to be getting Tigertron 2, and I'm really very excited about having both of these characters. But overall, really very, very nice. Now, for her transformation, I'm just going to take these wings and fold those back just to kind of get them out of the way makes it a, a little bit easier. And they come down here to these legs. You're going to kind of pull them away. Uh, they are going to tab in right there. I'll show you that, obviously, when we go back to her beast mode. And then just straighten these legs out. So, again, pull that there and then rotate that out. Bring that down. Straighten these out. And then rotate her at her knee and then rotate the actual foot. So, again, rotate the lower section of the leg, then rotate her foot around. Come around here to the whole body. You're gonna spin that whole thing around like that, bringing the, the head in a proper kind of alignment with the rest of the legs. Come down here to these arms. You're gonna pull these up and away like so. Then come around here to the back section. This back section, it's a little bit tricky. This all tabs in, um, so just separate that. Kind of hinge this down and then rotate this all around, which will bring her head out. Again, it's a little bit tricky to do, but there we go. Bring that all the way around. It's tricky because it wants to rotate on this uh, other joint on the back section here. So just kind of, there we go. Bring that around there and then line that up. And then you're going to want to accordion the uh, entire torso down. That all down, come on. That's really, the hinging here is kind of annoying. There we go. Get that all the way down there. Don't push her head all the way in. Keep that up. There we go. Okay. So now that's position right. This back section here, you got these little uh, tabs and uh, slot things right here. You're just going to lock that in right there and then... Take the tail section, give that a good push, and that will lock underneath here. Let's see, you might have to angle it back a little bit more. There we go. That'll lay then flat. And then bend these wings so that this little tab then becomes exposed and you wanna lock them in to those little points on the side. And then hinge this, bring that out, and then hinge that out like that. So again, 
bend there, fold that section, and then you can bring that all the way around. Bring that out a little bit. That locks those wings into place. Fold that little bit out. Kind of just sits right there. Fold these little guys back. Come around here to the front. Take these arms. Straighten out her forearm. Rotate at the elbows. Kind of straighten up that. There we go. Bring the arms down and then lift up her little shoulder bits like that. Now, uh, for the more completed look of her, you can take these, remove these from the thighs, and then just put them back up here on her forearms. That's where they were in the cartoon. So bring that up. But as you can see, they store and can be on uh, both sections fairly easily. Straighten out all of that. Get her head looking good and when you're done there you have air razor in her robot mode and I, I absolutely adore this thing and i'll be honest there is something about air razor's robot mode that absolutely i love it might be my favorite robot mode from any of these beast figures now, as you can see you can take the wings and you can still uh, spread them out to make her look like she's flying and you can get her head really angled up pretty decently to create that flying look i i just i love it i don't i don't know all the detail on here is really well done you can then like i said just collapse these back down the count no they, yeah there we go they go a little bit more in so you can have uh just a standing look but i don't i don't know really i i love the way that she looks the detail on here with the way that they captured the uh, feathers and everything throughout obviously her wings but then throughout the rest of the body all is really very very well done coming to take a closer look that head sculpt is wonderful too the the detail on there the paint applications that all looks wonderful green eyes you got that little gold strip right there above her head the purple face all of it looks great. You can see the texture detail here from her falcon head. That's obviously still going to be there. But then you get like elements like that on her shoulder sections. I, I love how they put that in there. You got a nice little Maximal logo right there on her forearm, which looks really good. Nice coloration with her legs and everything. I mean, just in general, really, oh, that's zooming in. That's really a very cool look. The gold color on her uh, arm weapons is really very nice. I mean... Cleans up beautifully. Uh, you get a, a bit of a backpack, but it, it's not really terribly ugly or anything of that nature. And she's a good size. Uh, like you could see in the uh, beast mode, she she's a fairly petite style. But, I mean, as a deluxe figure, you can see that she uh, sizes pretty decently, like with Cheetor here. Obviously, they're both deluxes, but the scale uh, still is working. Here is uh, Primal, who's obviously Voyager, going to be a little bit bigger. Here is Rat Trap, who is that core class, so uh, definitely a smaller one than uh, just uh, for a female Beast Wars character. Here she is with uh, Black Arachnia, and, uh, I mean, obviously, Black Arachnia is going to be a very thin and small character but uh in, in terms of comparison for the actual robot modes and everything this is a, a very accurate representation of the characters i'm really very impressed with how they're doing these scale they're, these scales throughout the different figures really is working very nicely and of course here she is next to a coca-cola tic-tac container for her articulation, as you can see, the head, you can get a real good uh, backwards motion with it, which looks great. You get the left and right, all that fun stuff. It is on a ball joint, so you also do get a little bit of tilting going on. Shoulders rotate. They hinge in and out. You have a swivel at the bicep, hinge at the elbow. You do have that um, uh, part of the transformation, that bend right there. So I don't know if you would really call that uh, wrist articulation. I guess maybe you, you could. It, it is a little bit higher up on the... Uh, forearm so i don't know that you, you may think it is i don't know you can rotate her at the waist which is nice you do have this little crotch piece that does move forward so you can move the legs really far it seems weird though because it doesn't really i mean obviously if it you, you go that far up uh that is going to come up but i mean even still and like even if you didn't do it i mean you could still 
kind of go off on the side. So it, it's interesting that they put that in there just so he can, she can completely kick up straight. That's weird. Got a hinge going uh, outward. You do have a rotation just above the knee. You have the bend at the knee. Uh, the ankles here are ball joints, so you can uh, position that kind of any way you want. You, you do have this bit right here, which uh, does break up her leg. This joint right here is really stiff on mine. That's nice. This one is a little bit uh, looser, uh, so it does have a tendency to kind of bend, but doesn't uh, destroy anything, I don't really think. Just overall, like I said, love the design of her. Uh, the paint applications, the sculpt work, everything on her is just extremely well done, I feel. Now for a transformation back, we're gonna take these uh, and detach that. If, if you want to, you can just put them right back down here on her uh, thighs. You don't have to, but uh, this makes it a little bit easier. I suppose, come around here to these wings. We're going to straighten these out. So just kind of pull that out, pull that out, extend that just like that. Take the tail, you want to detach that, lift that away, and then pull this back section away as well then this whole th this part here it, it does get kind of tricky let's get these um, collapsed in here like that uh, the whole torso bit here like accordions in and it, it's definitely tricky to uh, pull it away from the body so let's see there you go just hinge that back and then straighten the entire thing out just kind of like pull that straight up as best as you can i don't know if that's all the way back no that's definitely not you can see the little joint sections back here so there we go so get that as uh straight up and down as you possibly can and then when you have that like that you can take the head here and rotate this back and pull her beast head out at the same time then we're going to take this, and this is going to shift up right here. So you have uh, the little tab sections here that are going to lock in that, and then you got this middle section that's going to lock in the back of the base. So just kind of line that up and make sure that all is connected and give that a good squeeze there. So now that's uh, as flat as you're really going to get it. So there we go. Now take these arms, this is where you're going to bend there at the uh, elbow section and then rotate that around. Then that's going to bring out a little tab on the underside of her fist. That's going to slot into the center section here of her torso and just basically uh, groove in and sit there. So the fist goes on the inside. So again, do that on this side here. Rotate that down. Bring that all the way in. So again, you're going to take this little tab that's on the bottom and going to slot that into that little piece right there. So just bring that in, keep it straight, and then try lining that up as best as you can. So that's right there. Then take this entire torso bit, rotate that all the way around. These legs, you're going to pull away and then rotate these up. Then you have on the inside of her thigh, is this little oddly shaped hole that that post is going to go into. So just bring that in, lock that in like that. And then, oh, sorry, before you do that, rotate her at the knee. There you go. And then you can bring this up, bring that out, and then lock that in. Then bend her at the knee here, and then bend at that looser joint and rotate her falcon leg around. Do it on this side as well. So again, we're going to kind of pull it away, rotate it up, fit it in that little post, bend the knee back, bend this other little joint forward, rotate her feet. And then if you want to, you can just position her head to be down like that. You can bring the wings in, really whatever you want to do. But when you're done, there you have Air Razor back in her Falcon mode. But again, an absolute wonderful release by Hasbro. Well, yes, the bird mode does have that uh, whole exposed robot element going on. The transformation is pretty fun to do. 
despite the fact it being really fairly simple. In my opinion, it is very effective. But my absolute favorite is this figure's robot mode. In my personal opinion, it is the best looking robot mode that we've gotten. Now, that's not to say that the other ones aren't good. Primal is fantastic. Megatron looks outstanding. Hell, even Black Arachnia really does kind of blow my mind. There's just something about Air Razor's robot mode that just grabs me. A lot of times, reviews are subjective and entirely based on the opinion of the reviewer. So, in my opinion, robot mode, she is the best. And with Without a doubt, I would recommend adding her to your collection. It's been a while since we had a really good Beast Wars representation of Air Razor, and in my opinion, they knocked it out of the park. But uh, beyond that, guys, that's about it. So if you would please, again, if you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you would do one very simple thing for me, and that's just to hit that thumbs up button. That one very small gesture, which takes you a half a second to do, really can have a huge impact on my channel. And if you would do that one very simple thing for me, I would really very much appreciate it. Also, I gotta send a huge shout out to all of my patrons and Optobotomous Plus channel members, who through their direct support, now more than ever, help to make reviews like this possible. And if you'd like information on how you can help support my channel directly by becoming a patron like these guys, feel free to check out my Patreon page at patreon.com slash optobotomous. Or if you want to keep all of your perks and rewards like custom channel chat and comment emojis, loyalty badges, early access to my video reviews, exclusive member live streams, Zoom calls, as well as the occasional giveaways like these guys do, consider becoming a member of Optobotomous Plus. And for that, all you have to do is click on that little join button right down there. Also, for a limited time, if you join as a leader class member of Optobotomous Plus, I'll send you absolutely free of charge an exclusive Optobotomous brand face mask. You can protect yourself from the evils of the COVID-19 virus, and you can look good doing it. Or if you want to take things a little bit further and become a Titan class member, I'll send you also absolutely free of charge an exclusive Optobotomous brand t-shirt. So check it out, and please consider helping. And finally, guys, as always, please remember that the real trouble with the world is that too many people grow up. Thank you for watching and taking the time to be a kid.